Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to do this one for you guys today. As most of you are aware, back in the new year, um, it was announced when the production had ended that th this was not the end for Camaro. And a lot speculated that this might come back as some form of electric car. But based on the trends that we're seeing today with electric cars overall, there's a pretty good chance that this car could come back as an internal combustion engine. Today we're going to go over what this car could possibly look like, my suggestions on what needs to be improved, possible power plants, engine choices, interior. So let's get into it. So the number one complaint that we kept hearing about the fifth and the sixth generation cars was the rear visibility. And while most of you will agree with me that if you, when you own these cars, you do get used to the rear visibility, but it does take a little bit of getting used to initially, right? So what I'm suggesting is if, when they bring this car back out, raise that roof a little bit or um, expand that C pillar, I guess, just a bit. So it gives you a bit more visibility as for all the illustrations that I've kind of gone through uh, that I come up with. Uh, and I made all these on the computer. This one is kind of the uh, my favorite of them all. I think I'm tied between this one and the one of the white ones. But this is how I think the car would look. I mean, generally overall, we're going to start with this shape of body. And then we're going to add front and rear nose and whatnot. But this is what I think. So I know this is a little over the top, but just bear with me here for a second. Five engine choices, right? We understand that GM is making a new V8 engine for the trucks and whatnot. We're going to take that motor and we're going to assume it's four. We're going to say it's 475 horsepower. That's bumping it up a little bit from the 455 that it currently is. Uh, on the lower end, we're going to, you know, get a lot of feedback from you guys about ditching the two, the two liter and going with the truck motor. So I said, okay, you know what? That's a great idea. Let's go with the two seven and keep it as is at 310 horsepower as a base engine. Right. And if you haven't noticed the theme yet, a lot of this is coming still from the alpha platform in the Cadillac because they still make it right. So that part would should be easier to revise. And we're going to steal that three liter, uh, 3.6 twin turbo from the Cadillac and because it's a Camaro, we're going to add 40 horse to it because 3.6 twin turbo at 335 is a bit underrated when the Camaro naturally aspirates 335. So we're going to go 375 horse on a twin turbo because the turbos are a big thing these days. So we're going to put two turbo motors in there, right? Uh, we're going to keep the naturally aspirated 3.6 and we're going to bump it up 10 horsepower to 345. And finally... Either I'm calling it a revised LT4 or whatever the new V8 architecture is going to be on, but we're going to say it's 675 horsepower and bump it up a little bit from its current. So those are kind of the five in choices that I thought I could see happening. I don't see it quite five. I think one of these has got to go, but I think this is a good mix. Guys, I really want your feedback in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Is it too much? Not enough? You know, the design, the engine choices and whatnot. And hey, if you're new here, don't forget, if you've liked what you've seen so far, hit that subscribe button right now. It doesn't cost you nothing and give us a thumbs up. I still think this interior is valid today more than ever. We're seeing more of this fluid uh, all-in-one screen cluster blend in different vehicles that GM's doing. Uh, the tracks, the Blazer, and a few others, the, some of the Buicks, they kind of just seamlessly come together like that. They don't look as tacky as they do on the Mustang. This is more, it's just better, better put together. And we've debated this picture before. It's got a shifter. It doesn't mean anything. I don't know. But I think this picture could represent the next uh, generation Camaro. Again, really appreciate all the support for the channel. Guys, give me your feedback in the comments. Let me know what you changed, what you wouldn't change. If you enjoyed this video, 
Uh, I didn't put a necessary date on it. I'm saying 25 to 27, maybe 28. And we could debate how long it takes to build a car and whatnot. But those are just general numbers. Insert any number that you would. Appreciate you guys very much. That's it for this one. We'll see you soon.